Hi, I'm Teresa Ford, and this is my prompt inspiration for Mid Journey. Right here you have the custom text here, which you fill in with the subject you are looking for, and you can put in anything you want, if you want. And down here you have different styles of things that you can add as a postfix or a prefix. And over here we're looking for default to showing favorites, which I can toggle on and off. Let's go toggle one over here. I can toggle atmospheric if I like that one as a favorite, and then it will always appear in this list. I can turn that back off again. We have art movements. We can scroll down and you can say, oh, I like this one. We'll add that as a postfix to our piece. Let's see, and let's go over here and say I want a goblin dog. I can add that as a prefix by clicking that button. If I decide never again do I want to see Kelpies, I can hit the trash button here and it disappears out of the list. You can still find it later if you click on one you wanted over here under deleted. You can see which ones you have currently selected with the post fix here. Let's select a couple more here on full sun. Let's grab an environment. Do, 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 do environments are here and let's put them on a boat there we go all right and we can look at that we can see these are the ones we have selected we can look at the prefix we can see that's the one we have selected and we can say okay that's good we're going to copy the prompt there's a copy prompt button which will be moving up here when i get around to doing the redo you come back over here to your discord your prompt and we'll imagine our prompt and it go ahead and, sh and strings everything together for you so you have your prefix your text and then the postfix text and while that's waiting let's go back over here and explore some of the other things there's animation styles in here so you can pick your favorite anime you have assorted adjectives if you wanted to pick some adjectives if you want to put it inside a container there's a container list it's basically a brainstorming thing for what do i want to think about there's also a few a few of the standard things like your versions and your quality you can pick those from here too if you wanted to you can choose techniques and it'll, it gives you some samples not everything has samples but quite a few of the things do there's some nationalities if you wanted to match some nationalities and if you don't know exactly what something is for the art movements, it's got pictures so you have the idea of what you're looking for. And you just select mix and match to your heart's content. And then you can come back over here and see, see what you have selected and say, okay, those things together might make something interesting and we'll go forth and do something with that. So in fact, let's go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the goblin. I think the goblin is a bad choice. We'll hit copy prompt. We'll come back over here. Oh, it's still waiting. Go figure. All right. But notice how quick and easy it is to mix and match and pick your styles for things. If you wanted to, you can generate, let's say, reset, and it gets rid of all of my prefix and postfix. It does not change my set, my middle piece. I can do make a portrait, and it generates a random description of a person. Let me hit it a couple times here. Let's see. A virtual clutter organizer that sounds entertaining and then I can put my virtual clutter organizer in the style of an artist let's go pick an artist here let's do that as that one and that one should make it nice and grungy all right and we can copy that roll back over here and paste it in and it fills in the entire description that it randomly generated of someone and, some, and they don't always match what you put in as your description, but it will come up with some pretty neat things. I mean, Sierra's style is working pretty good for the crystal cubism artwork. So, didn't seem to do much with the boat, but there we have it. You can see it makes generating your prompts fairly quick and for getting different styles for things. There's also a make a food description, and it generates a silly description of some kind of food, which again, we can copy and come back over here and paste. Bink. And it generates really kind of strange descriptions. 
Yeah, and those are just going to take too long to get through the video. But in any case, you can go play with it and have fun. So let's see. 